Hey, everybody. Can you hear me? Okay, great. I'm Christine Reed, and this is Ashley Edge. Um, we are quality coaches with Practice Quality and Innovation, and we are here today with our healthcare system director, Ronnie Booth. Um, and we're going to talk to you today about how we utilize visual management to improve the care that we provide for the patients of North Carolina. Um, you may be wondering, what is visual management exactly? Um, I hope that we can clarify that for you. Uh, when we use the term visual management, we're talking about a very practical visual display of how a clinic or another work unit is performing on any metrics that they may have, how they're working together as a team, and being able to see and understand that data in just a few seconds from maybe two or three feet away. Um, so really just a visual representation of what any clinic or work unit is working toward. We take a data-driven approach to using visual management, um, and we hope that visual management will help us um, see and understand the goals that we're working towards. Thank you, perfect. Um, we know that from research, any goals that we make visual are more likely to be remembered and more likely to be achieved. Um, and so that's what we work toward is making those things visible to our clinics and our staff members and then helping them work together to achieve those goals that we've set forth. Um, one thing we like to remember is that the roots of visual management come from manufacturing and we've sort of adapted it for healthcare. It's something that can be adapted to a more administrative unit, a more educational unit, um, but really any work area can use visual management to help achieve their goals. So now Ashley is going to talk about how visual management helps us engage our staff. Thank you, Christine. Mm -hmm. Our teams are comprised of highly skilled problem solvers, and it's our job to inspire them to use a process that engages everyone that works in the process. We found that when that happens, our results are better. We work with 41 primary care practices across the state of North Carolina, and since July 2014, we've helped those close over 350,000 care gaps. So those are individual patients. Those are your neighbors, your friends, your teachers, your mom, your children, and even be yourself. And so it's really um, inspiring and, and empowering to see these teams rally around these metrics that matter and figure out a way to help provide better care. So for example, uh, in this multidisciplinary huddle, you might have your front desk staff talking with the medical director saying, how can we improve our schedule so that we have better access for our patients? Or perhaps the nurse is working with the lab technician to say, let's try something different this morning. Let's draw the blood for the patient in the exam room so this patient doesn't have to move around throughout the clinic. Um, and then our practice managers work with referral coordinators to say it's really important that our patients get their breast cancer screening and their colorectal cancer screenings done at our partner facilities and that our primary care providers get those results to understand next steps. How can we build a system so that we get that entire process and no one falls through the cracks? So having these folks together daily, looking at the metrics and really problem solving together has allowed them to understand the issues, talk about the root causes, and then implement some solutions to provide better care for themselves, their patients, and the community. And so in closing, we are excited to share with you what we're finding is actually working and it accelerates the pace of change. Having a visual management display inside and for a work group to rally around brings the team together. There's the analytics side of change and then there's the human side of change. And so this represents a visual way that we're finding is actually very effective and so uh, in closing, we just thank you, and this collaboration is evident across the university. We partner with the School of Medicine, we partner across the healthcare system, and we partner with the university to learn better techniques and better change. So in closing, we thank you, and if you're interested in visual management, we're actually going to have some materials um, and some tips at the table by the door, so please feel free to take one of those up, and we'd be happy to talk to you at another time. Thanks.